Hey everyone, this is Jaden from Mission Bit. We're here today with a new two-part series to learn how to properly set up GitHub with Unity and add collaborators to work on a game together. We're going to learn how to create a new repository and set it up for use with Unity. We'll learn how to use gitignore for our project so we can reduce a lot of the extra files that Unity creates for us. So we're going to need a couple things downloaded before we start. We're going to need Unity Hub and any version of the Unity engine should work fine with GitHub. Next, we'll need GitHub Desktop, so you can download for Windows or for Mac, whichever that works for you. The Desktop app helps streamline a majority of our process, so we have much less room for error. Once you have those downloaded, we can go to GitHub and we can sign in or create an account. Once you're logged in, let's create a new repository by clicking this green button over here. The first thing we got to do, let's give our repository a name. Just say my Unity game. And we'll give it a description Unity project demonstrating GitHub. And we'll make that a README. And there's no reason to make it private, so we'll leave it public. And for the most important part of our setup process is the git ignore. This document needs to be in the root of your Unity project and helps GitHub ignore unnecessary files when pushing your project. And honestly, GitHub has a hard time pushing large files and high amounts of data. So this is really important for a game development project, which has tons of files and assets. So the best practice is to create your repository early, push often, and use git ignore to offload all of the unnecessary files you won't need in your repository. So let's click that and search for Unity. And that should be good. Let's create our repository. Now that you have your repository created, we can see our git ignore file and our readme, which is good. So the next thing we want to do is clone our repository into our computer. So we can go to this green button over here, grab the link, and copy it, or press the copy button. And we'll just go to GitHub desktop. I have it open right now, but you should set it up first. Click your repository, click add, clone repository, and just paste it in. And just make sure you remember where your path was and click clone. Now that you have your repository cloned into your computer, we can open up Unity Hub and click create a new project. We do this because the files created from GitHub is not enough for a Unity project. So we'll just generate the project template into our repository folder, and that will create our basic Unity template. So let's give our project a name. Let's just say my Unity game again. And you want to set your location into the same file path as the folder that we created our repository into. If you forgot where that was, you can go to your GitHub desktop, right click your repository, click show in Explorer, and they'll guide you to the same folder that you're in. So for me, it was in my documents into my GitHub. So I'll just make sure it's on the right folder. So my Unity game, select folder, and then click create. Just let that load. Now that we have our project fully set up, if we go into our GitHub, we can see the project template trying to upload into our repository. If you notice, there's almost 14,000 files to be uploaded. So it seems like our git ignore isn't working properly. You can tell because git ignore removes uploaded files from the library and the temp folder. So if you see anything labeled temp or library, that just means it's not doing its job. So let's fix that. First, let's go into our project folder, my Unity game, and notice how our Unity project is created in a subfolder for our project, different from our initial repository folder. That's actually what's causing the issue because our gitignore document expects it to be directly in the root of our project, which right now it's outside of our root. So we can technically drag it into our Unity project folder, but that would cause some connection issues with GitHub desktop. So we can actually edit our document to remove one level in the search 
so that this document can reach the inner folder content. So let's open up this doc, find the list of ignored folders, which is going to be these right here. And what we're going to do is remove one forward slash from the beginning of all of these ignored folders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to remove one level on our search and help our git ignore reach our project files. So let's make sure you save. And let's check our GitHub desktop now. So now you can see the correct amount of files to be uploaded, and it's now ready to commit and push. Before we actually commit and push, let's make one small change to our project so we can make sure GitHub is working properly. This is not required, but I just like to do this to make sure things are working. So let's just create a new scene. Name it main. Open it up. We'll just create a little cube and save. So if we check our GitHub, it seems like things are saving properly. So we can commit now. So it needs a commit message. So let's just say project setup and let's commit it. Once you commit, Remember to push your changes so it uploads your changes to the repository. Now let's check the website to make sure things are there. Cool. So it seems like things were uploaded just now. So that's just about everything you need to know for basic Unity and GitHub setup. Next video, we'll talk about how you can use branching to maintain your project setup and add collaborators so that you can work on a game together. Don't forget to follow along for more Mission Bit coding tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.